I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. <sighs> yeah, better go see Siri. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course.
guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please! I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Tell you about breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out.
don't know. Desimir's got that look. What did you expect? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Garrett. Bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quen. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the witch's shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. 
Alright, Geralt. Come on! See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy their rhythm. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. This will be quick. Ugh. Axie can really muddle your mind. Heard it now. Show her, Geralt. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quentin will dampen the blow. Enough! Continue training and go! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. Little she devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. <laughs> had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. I started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. 
We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh, but it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Third skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. We 
because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Come on. Slower. The war is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. That's it, Roach. going help me help Has gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but Griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there. Muddle. You seek someone. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Come on. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In a forest of the mountain, oh, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard, and we should leave as soon as we learn anything.
What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms. The Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes. Dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. You got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Show me what you got behind the counter. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. You hear? Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest.
I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit-eater, Micah. Running low on patience. Once it's gone, your heads will roll. Oh, we was jesting. No call for anger. See a raven-haired woman here, dressed in black and white? We know nothing, sir. Leave us be. There are four factions. Four what? What a waste of time. The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see'll kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
You've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Something else you'll be needing. Farewell. for a woman uh, like everyone not like everyone and not just any woman mine smells of lilac and gooseberries dresses in black and white two schnapses <laughs> it'll lift your spirits don't generally drink with strangers come I know this to be a vile place you might down a little glass merely to aid digestion. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I oh, know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. 
Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble, and you'll be nearby to help. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now... Everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. Rip up your melon and shit down your neck! Oh, did they put a soldier's head back on? Well, yes, they left his post. 